Dr. Jeff DIY here. Started up my Jeep and I got the dreaded check engine light. Oh, oh no. no. There it is. So I hooked up my scanner and this is the error code I got. So I bought a new gas cap and made sure it was on there tight because it suggested that was the problem. But So the next suggestion was the fuel vapor canister purge valve that costs over $86. And before I just bought a part, I wanted to make sure that was the real problem. So it's time to do some diagnostics with the smoke machine. Here's the test port on the Jeep that you unscrew. There's a Schrader valve there. I bought this Schrader valve kit and attachment. This is one of those weird situations where you turn it clockwise to loosen the Schrader valve. And I had to use some needle nose pliers to help get it out. And I'm gonna give you a little view of what it looked like here. It's kind of spring loaded actually. And uh, that's what's in there. So then you attach this uh, tube and that goes on normally. Then you get your smoke machine hooked up and turn it on. I have a whole video on how to do that. Here we are back at the charcoal canister. And I think we've found the problem. Bingo. It's the charcoal canister. There's the leak. And it wasn't that part. It's a rubber attachment goes from one size to a smaller size and it got brittle and worn out flaky so the next thing you're going to want to do is plug up the gas line vapor hose so you don't lose all that gas here's the oem part that connects the gas tank to the charcoal fuel vapor canister and some people had problems with rust on these and breaking over time and since i was there i figured might be a good time to do an upgrade, even though mine wasn't already failed. So I wanted to figure out how I could do that. And to accommodate the different sizes, you had to measure first. And this one to the canister was 5 sixteenths, and the one to the vapor tube was one I quarter. I find a coupler that went from a quarter to 5 sixteenths, but at Home Depot, I was able to find this nickel plated tank valve and it just so happens that when you take this off the quarter end fits very nicely on this and the 5 16 end fits on this but it is a valve and so you need to remove that valve to get it unrestricted i have this part of this evap tester kit thing that i bought previously comes with a Schrader valve tool. So you just put it in there and unscrew it. Pull out the Schrader valve. And now you have a pass through. If you look on the other side, you'll see there's a little metal lip and I drilled this out off camera to make it more free flowing. Then it's just a matter of connecting it first to the quarter inch side and I'm using braided rubber gas line here. Little locking pliers help shove it in because it's snug. Then I put on a hose clamp and cinched that down to make sure it wouldn't leak. And then you do the 5 16th side. Put a hose clamp on that one too. And then it's time to get under the Jeep and try to get in place. Here I'm showing you the OEM setup with the metal fuel vapor tube and back there is going to the gas tank. Then you kind of follow the bottom tube there up towards the front of the vehicle and it follows along kind of the railing there of the unibody frame. You can see some light rust I had there. Then it makes its way up to the fuel vapor canister and it does a 90 degree angle and uh, connects via that rubber connector that was all rotten. In case you're wondering how much this can affect your fuel economy, listen to the sound of these gas fumes and your money going down the drain. That's the tube that connects to the gas tank and then the one here is the metal tube I was showing before. Man, that's no joke. 
So here's the setup with the upgrade. And I put some cinch ties on the back there, the white ones closest to the gas tank. And uh, I got the tube over the metal pretty well, so there's a lot of overlap. Then I'm just gonna track it up forward towards the vapor canister. There I cinch tied it onto a fuel line. And then up here I made use of an existing bracket, and that's the junction there from the one quarter to now the five sixteenths on the right side. Then it just makes its way up to the fuel vapor canister where it's five sixteenths, and I pushed that on and put a zip tie over that. That's pretty much the end of the instructional part of the video. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it. If you did, hit like so it's easier to find by others, and consider subscribing. I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers and all the encouraging comments I've got from people. I've learned a lot, and I hope I've helped you too. So hope you have a great new year, and this is Dr. Jeff DIY. I'll see you the next time something breaks.